Welcome back to our channel. Today, we're delving into the startling histories of the top 15 most notorious cases of alcoholism in Hollywood. From A-list celebrities to up-and-coming stars, we'll investigate how their struggles with alcohol have influenced their careers and left an indelible mark on their personal lives. Let's begin! Judy Garland, an iconic American actress and singer, gained fame as a child star with her enchanting performance in The Wizard of Oz, 1939, and continued to sparkle in numerous Hollywood classics. Regrettably, Garland battled alcohol and drug addiction throughout her life, which had a detrimental effect on her career and health. In a tragic turn of events, she passed away in London in 1969 at the too young age of 47, due to an accidental overdose of barbiturates, ending a brilliant but tumultuous career. Ava Gardner, a mesmerizing American actress, was born on December 24, 1922, in Grabtown, North Carolina. She rose to stardom for her striking beauty and extraordinary acting abilities, shining in classics such as The Killers, 1946, and The Barefoot Contessa, 1954. Tumultuous relationships, including marriages to Frank Sinatra and Mickey Rooney, often marked Gardner's personal life. She grappled with alcoholism for a significant portion of her life, which occasionally influenced her career. Gardner passed away in 1990 at the age of 67 due to pneumonia and complications from a stroke, leaving behind a powerful legacy as a Hollywood luminary. Heath Ledger, a gifted Australian actor, was born on April 4, 1979, in Perth, Western Australia. Known for his versatility, Ledger demonstrated exceptional performances in films such as Brokeback Mountain, 2005, and is particularly remembered for his portrayal of the Joker in The Dark Knight, 2008. Despite personal challenges, including struggles with substance abuse, his death in 2008 at the tender age of 28 was due to an accidental overdose of prescription medications. Ledger's sudden demise was a devastating blow to the film industry, and he is still revered for his remarkable contributions to cinema. Chris Farley, a cherished American comedian and actor, was born on February 15, 1964, in Madison, Wisconsin. He catapulted to fame as a cast member on Saturday Night Live, and later starred in films like Tommy Boy, 1995, and Beverly Hills Ninja, 1997. Regrettably, Farley battled with substance abuse issues, including alcohol and drugs, which profoundly affected his career and health. He tragically passed away on December 18, 1997, at the young age of 33 due to a drug overdose, leaving a significant gap in the world of comedy and entertainment. Errol Flynn, a charismatic Australian-American actor, was born on June 20, 1909, in Hobart, Tasmania. He became a Hollywood symbol, celebrated for his swashbuckling roles in adventure films like The Adventures of Robin Hood, 1938. Flynn's career was defined by his captivating charm and adventurous spirit. Unfortunately, he had a publicly known struggle with alcoholism that occasionally affected his performances. He passed away in 1959 at the age of 50 due to a heart attack, with his alcohol-related health issues playing a role in his untimely death. P. 
Peter O'Toole, a legendary Irish-born actor, was born on August 2, 1932, in Connemara, Ireland. He enjoyed an illustrious career on both stage and screen, with iconic roles in films such as Lawrence of Arabia, 1962, and The Lion in Winter, 1968. O'Toole was renowned for his talent and charisma, but he also battled with alcoholism throughout his life, which at times affected his work. He passed away on December 14, 2013, at the age of 81 due to complications from a long history of health issues, including his struggles with alcohol. Elizabeth Taylor, born on February 27, 1932, in London, England, was one of Hollywood's most legendary actresses. Her esteemed career spanned many decades, with notable roles in films such as Cleopatra, 1963, and Who's Afraid of Virginia Woolf, 1966, earning her two Academy Awards. Taylor's personal life was characterized by numerous marriages and health issues, but her struggle with alcoholism was widely documented. She passed away on March 23, 2011, at the age of 79 due to congestive heart failure, leaving behind a legacy as a revered Hollywood icon. Philip Seymour Hoffman, a highly esteemed American actor, was born on July 23, 1967, in Fairport, New York. Renowned for his remarkable talent, he offered extraordinary performances in many films, including Capote, 2005, and Doubt, 2008. Unfortunately, Hoffman battled with substance abuse issues, primarily heroin and prescription drugs, which he publicly admitted. He tragically passed away on February 2, 2014, at the age of 46 due to a heroin overdose. His premature death represented a significant loss to the cinematic world, where his exceptional acting skills had made an unforgettable impact. Richard Burton, born on November 10, 1925, in Pontrydefen, Wales, was a distinguished Welsh actor recognized for his potent performances on stage and screen. He achieved fame with roles in classics like Cleopatra, 1963, and Who's Afraid of Virginia Woolf, 1966. Burton's battle with alcoholism, which was widely reported, occasionally affected his career and personal life. He passed away on August 5, 1984, at the age of 58 due to a cerebral hemorrhage, marking the end of a brilliant yet turbulent career in the entertainment industry. Richard Harris, born on October 1, 1930 in Limerick, Ireland, was a highly esteemed Irish actor known for his versatile talents on both stage and screen. His career encompassed memorable roles in films like This Sporting Life, 1963, and as Professor Dumbledore in the first two Harry Potter movies. Harris had a publicly known struggle with alcoholism, which occasionally affected his work. He passed away on October 25, 2002, at the age of 72 due to complications from Hodgkin's lymphoma, leaving behind a rich legacy in the entertainment world. Humphrey Bogart, born on December 25, 1899, in New York City, was a legendary American actor recognized for his tough guy roles in classic films like Casablanca, 1942, and The Maltese Falcon, 1941. His career spanned several decades, earning him acclaim and an Academy Award for The African Queen, 1951. 
Although he was known as a heavy drinker, it wasn't until later in his life that his alcohol consumption became a significant concern. Tragically, Bogart succumbed to esophageal cancer on January 14, 1957, at the age of 57, a condition partly attributed to his smoking and drinking habits. John Belushi, born on January 24, 1949, in Chicago, Illinois, was a celebrated American comedian, actor, and musician. He rose to fame as an original cast member of Saturday Night Live and starred in iconic comedies such as Animal House, 1978, and The Blues Brothers, 1980. Regrettably, Belushi grappled with serious drug addiction, primarily to cocaine and heroin. He tragically passed away on March 5, 1982, at the young age of 33 due to a drug overdose, a devastating loss underscoring the dangers of substance abuse in the entertainment industry. Dana Andrews, born on January 1, 1909 in Covington County, Mississippi, was a prominent American actor of the mid-20th century. He enjoyed a successful career with standout performances in films like Laura, 1944, and The Best Years of Our Lives, 1946, earning widespread critical acclaim. Despite Andrews's reputation as a solid actor, he battled with alcoholism throughout his life, which influenced both his personal and professional life. He passed away on December 17, 1992, at the age of 83 due to congestive heart failure, a condition worsened by his protracted struggle with alcoholism. Thank you for joining us on Hollywood Unveiled, where we reveal the untold stories behind the stars. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more fascinating tales from the world of entertainment.